Hey, it's Vaughn, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Ladies and gentlemen, in the last episode, we finished up the Brotherhood of Steel side quests. And now we're going to be going back... Oh, wait, hold on. Something's going on over here. Institute thinks they can replace people with synths in this town? They've got another thing coming. What am I going to tell his mother? Hey, just your friendly neighborhood watch. Shooting down Institute spies as they crop up. What happened here? Ah, poor Sammy got snatched up by the Institute. Then those bastards send this low-rent double in his place. It's pathetic. They didn't make it two days before everyone realized something was wrong with him. Then we made the call, and here we are. Speaking of which, I gotta figure out where this body needs to get dumped. Why don't you get going? Got a reason to be bothering me? I just had to shoot up a synth body snatcher over here. He was a synth? Yeah. Unbelievable, huh? Sammy was fine. If Why are we having the same man, conversation with look, two different gotta, people that are right next to each other? That was weird. Uh, anyways. So Alright, so in this episode, we're going to be switching gears. We're going to be going back to the main quest. And we have the molecular level. Have the coarser chip analyzed. Now, it's interesting because the last time I did this, um, not only had I progressed up until this point in the Minutemen that... Um, we are on this character, like I basically did the same thing on that character as I did with this character with the Minutemen. But also, um, I aligned myself with the Railroad, which we haven't seen yet. But I was able to go to the Railroad and have the Courser chip analyzed there. However, since we have not met the Railroad yet, and because I know they're going to be my enemy in this Let's Play, the only place that we can have the Courser chip analyzed is at the Memory Den by Dr. Amari, right? That's her name? Um, hey look, that guy is still there. Man, he's been here this entire time. But these pods are open, interesting. So I have not done this at all. This is completely new to me right now. But anyways, let's talk You're to back. Dr. Amari. The glowing sea, Virgil. What happened? I found Virgil. He has a way inside the Institute. But I need a code from a Courser chip. A Courser chip? You fought a Courser? Oh my god. Unfortunately, I can't help you. I've worked on a lot of synths, but never a courser. I don't know what that chip does, let alone how to decode it. But there are people who might. I work with a group that, well, they're the only ones I know that even have a chance at cracking Institute security. They're called the Railroad. Oh, so only the Railroad can decode this chip. Interesting. The Railroad? They help since escape the Institute. I don't know who they all are. Usually an agent of theirs just shows up with someone who needs new memories. One of them gave me a code phrase. Said it would help me find them if there was ever an emergency. Follow the Freedom Trail. Any idea what the code phrase means? I'm not sure. But I remember there was a pre-war landmark with a similar name. I'd start there. Hopefully they've placed other clues to tell you where to go after that, hidden somewhere in plain sight. That's how they think. All right. I'll find them. Good luck. I'm sorry what I have is so cryptic, but hopefully you can figure things out as you go. Okay, so this is interesting. I thought we might have been able to completely bypass the railroad and basically never have to deal with them, uh, for the most part. But no, I guess the game does introduce you to each faction no matter what. Also, for those of you that did not know, I didn't know this until I read it. Apparently there's a quest here uh, where you come to the memory den and you go inside one of these memory loungers. And uh, I, I'm, I believe it shows you the memory where your wife was killed. And basically the only way you can ever do that quest is if you come to Good Neighbor and come to the memory den before you get started on the main quest like before you get to diamond city it's really weird you have to make your way to like uh good neighbor before you go to diamond city but that's interesting because that's a quest that very few people are ever going to see but it's kind of disappointing that i haven't done it yet okay so, it looks like we need to find the railroad to get this Courser chip analyzed. See, the reason I was, like, so confused is because I thought that, depending on which faction you are mostly sided with, they would uh, analyze the Courser chip. So, I thought the Brotherhood of Steel would have been able to, and failing that, the Minutemen. But it looks like you actually have to get the railroad 
to uh, analyze the Courser chip. So we need to find the railroad. Is this giving me a quest objective? It shouldn't, but we have another quest in our inventory or in our pit boy called uh, Road to Freedom. We need to follow the Freedom Trail, which it appears we've already done. We need to continue following the Freedom Trail and hopefully this will give us a quest marker. No, are you not going to tell me where to go? I mean, I sort of know, but I, I'm forgetting exactly where it is. I think it's the Boston Commons. Yeah, so we'll fast travel to the Boston Common. Okay, yes, this is the right spot. I can't believe they didn't give me a quest marker, though. Um, so this probably happens to a lot of people that play this game. You come to this area, and then you automatically get that quest updated. What does this say? At Journey's End, follow Freedom's Lantern. Welcome and here we have a tour bot. To Boston Common, the start of the Freedom Trail. Feast your ears and learn more about the historic Freedom Trail. And learn the history of Boston Common. Tell me about the Freedom Trail. Starting here at Boston Common, follow the red path as it winds its way through our great city's streets. Markers on the trail are placed at many famous historic sites. See Paul Revere's house, the old North Church, the old State House, Bunker Hill, and many more. Okay. Yeah, you know, this never make, made sense to me. This guy would be dead. I mean, this is like a big open area with a lot of traffic usually. This robot would never remain alive. At least to the capacity that a robot could be alive the freedom trail all right so we have a tell me more button here i think that just activates the robot but what we need to do and this isn't really obvious is that we need to follow this red brick road on the ground and uh, we need to activate all of this stuff freedom trail marker seven and a some sort of code yeah so basically we just need to keep following this uh red path and the only challenge is, of course, dealing with all of the hostile uh, residents of the Boston Common, but also, sometimes the red trail will break up. As you can see right here, you sort of have to infer where it's going to continue. This one's pretty easy, but you'll see what I mean later on. Uh, there's some cases where it's a little difficult to figure out where this thing is going. Now, I could just go straight to where this thing ultimately leads, but that's no fun, right? So I think we'll follow the uh, Freedom Trail in its entirety. So here we have the Massachusetts State House and another marker. Four, yeah, L, definitely a code. And you can see there's a four in the middle there and, um, oh, the L is highlighted. So that's why Emery is saying four and L. And sometimes there's just some red paint leading you to the next section. So right here, this is what I'm talking about. So it looks like it curves to the right, so... Yeah, I guess we're just supposed to cross the street. I didn't even notice that uh, the trail continued on the opposite side. But yeah, basically we just follow this path, um, activate all the markers. It's not really necessary to activate all the markers. You'll see why Emery uh, verbalizes what they say when we get to the end, but it's not necessary or anything. Like, we don't even have to activate this. We could, we could just keep moving. So, Two and okay, why did you take no damage? That should have been a sneak shot, you stupid ghoul. Whatever, it's all good. Oh, no it's not, because we're in danger, and there's a ton of ghouls here. Alright, let me take them out. Alright, nothing too difficult, but very rude. I think we already activated this one, right? 2A. 2A, yeah, so you can be writing these down, of course, if you think it's important. You know, obviously, if anyone's doing this quest for the first time, it's a code, so you might think to write them down, but like I said, you don't really have to. Um, the hardest part, again, is just sort of finding where this red path is going, so you can see it's like going straight through there, but there's a bunch of debris, so, um, let's see, it's not going to be over there because that's like a highway or something, so I guess we just need to go this way. I hear something! No, you don't, Super Mutant. Just um, keep doing Super Mutant stuff. I, don't, I definitely don't want to tussle with the uh, Trinity Tower Super Mutants at this point. So here's the Freedom Trail again, which is great. There's actually a good neighbor right in front of us. I forget exactly how 
long this freedom trail goes. I think it may be like eight locations. No, a six and an O. Oh. Six and O. Oh. And there's a dead body out here. Dead raider. Okay. So, let's see. You do get like the freedom trail quest automatically, I believe. So maybe if you do that first, it does lead you to good neighbor. Uh, before you go to Diamond City, so you might actually end up doing that Memory Den quest before you ever head into Diamond City, although I would assume most people are going to end up at Diamond City first, just like most people are going to end up in Megaton uh, first. Okay, so here we have the trail again. Luckily, it's not too difficult so far. Too difficult following it. Okay, if you could stop glitching out there, thank you. Alright, let's see, where does this trail lead? Over this way. Straight up these stairs. Oh, huh, we might actually already be nearing the end of it. I'm not too sure. That big house right there. Oh, is that Fenuel Hall? Let's put this away. There's no reason to have that out. And let's take out our short hunting rifle. Oh, crap. I keep forgetting this is using 308 ammo. Yeah, I think this is Fenuel Hall. Yes, it definitely is, actually. Luckily, it looks like the super mutants are all still cleared out from when we were last here. 5R. Okay, so I think we'll take out the Righteous Authority, actually. Yeah. Let's put that away. So obviously you can tell if you come here before you clear out the Super Mutants. Like, if the Super Mutants are still here, that's probably the hardest part of this whole quest. Is dealing with those. Because the Fenuel Hall Super Mutants, I don't know what it is. But every time I come here and they're spawned, I'm like, oh god. I, well, it's just I know I'm in for a fight. Okay, so the Freedom Trail is going this way. Still no marker, but I think that the last marker was uh, for Fenuel Hall. Alright, so it ends here. I'm going to assume it's going to uh, begin again somewhere over here. There's a big red line of paint. And it continues on this way. So forgive me if my commentary isn't, you know, up to snuff during this part. I hate doing sections like this of gameplay, honestly, just because it's so hard to talk. It's so hard to think about stuff when you just have one, you know, path that you gotta travel for so long. But I'm trying, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys understand. I think this is a uh, bookstore or something? Next. Oh, I'm not sure what this one is. Actually, there's a plaque out here. Oh, Paul Revere's house. I never actually read this. Built in 19... 1680, this wooden building is the oldest structure in all of Boston. In 1770, this home was bought by famed patriot Paul Revere. Paul Revere dwelled here with his family, including his 16 children. Holy shit! Paul Revere got busy until 1800. Paul Revere was living here when he made his famous midnight ride to Lexington and Concord to warn Samuel Adams and John Hancock that Redcoats were en route to arrest them and seize the militia weaponry. I wonder if there's anything of note inside of there. Actually, there is his, uh, he used a lantern, right? Although that's not a unique lantern or anything like that, but I'm saying, isn't his, doesn't his, his uh, image usually have a lantern involved? All right, we're going to run now. Don't want to deal with super mutants. Old North Church. Church. Okay, let's head inside, shall we? This is where the Freedom Trail ends. Okay, and we'll see if they follow me in here. They might not, because this is sort of, you know, like a quest um, area. I'm not too sure. But, uh, I saw an interesting post on Imager, if anyone frequents that website, that was comparing... Fallout 4 locations in Boston to real-life Boston locations. And I remember the Old North Church, where we are right now, was actually pretty close. Like, I saw a picture of the inside, and it sort of looked like this. Of course, not destroyed, but, like, that thing in the middle there. What is that, an organ? Yeah, I guess that's an organ. Like, it was, it was, it looked exactly like that, if I remember right, so that's cool. Um, okay, so we have a, a symbol here with a lantern. And I don't think it's a spoiler, but the lantern is the symbol of the railroad. I'm pretty sure we've seen it multiple times in this Let's Play so far. Maybe we haven't noticed it, but it's been there. I guarantee it. Uh, so we need to explore this old north church and figure out its secret. And uh, a good thing to do would probably be to follow these uh, symbols on the wall here. I hear some more feral ghouls somewhere. Do these things are these things readable? Actually, they are. George Clark. Huh. I wonder if these names have any significance or not. Oh, actually, I think one of the comparison images was of this um, catacomb as well. I think it actually showed, like, some of these tombstones or whatever these, these things are. Okay. 
So far, we can only travel in a straight path. You're not fooling anybody. We have at least one more ghoul that's alive. But as long as it's not the billion that we saw in the last episode, I'm totally fine with uh, some ferals down here. Okay, so on the wall here, we have a mechanism. Um, it says Freedom Trail Ring, spin counterclockwise. And there's also a button in the middle here. So this is pretty easy to figure out, but just in case you don't know, you need to spell out railroad. So I will go ahead and do that. All right, so I think this should do it. Yes, indeedy. I remember the first time I came here, like when I first started playing this game and this happened, I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. But then I realized it was actually part of the main story. And I was like, oh, because it's so cool to find this sort of stuff, you know, in side quests. Uh, we have a circuit breaker lid here. This breaker is not functional. Okay. Right there. You went through a lot of effort to arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, answer my questions. Who the hell are you? Why don't you tell me who you are first? In a world full of suspicion, treachery, and hunters, we're the synths' only friends. We're the railroad. So answer my question. I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact us? I helped Carl out of a jam. He knows a guy who knows a guy, and, and they hooked me up with a lead. We'll look into that. Last question. Why are you here? I found a courser chip. Can your people decode it? You have what? This is not a joking matter. I didn't know we were having a party. What gives with my invitation? Oh, I see you invited the courser killer. Nice. Deacon, you're late. You're saying this intruder actually killed a courser? Single-handedly? <laughs> oh, that'd give even Gloria a run for her money. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal. If you're done interrogating him, you might want to show this courser murdering machine a little courtesy. Hmm? Just a thought. I owe you an apology. Anyone who kills a courser is good in my book. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. Hopefully, we can work something out. What you're asking for puts us in a tricky position. Des, we need to let him in. He's got an intact courser chip, for God's sake. That violates our security protocols. To hell with that! He killed a courser. There's no way he's working for the Institute. We're letting you into our headquarters. You're the first outsider ever to be given this privilege. We'll discuss the details about your chip inside. So, if Deacon looks familiar, the guy in the uh, white the shirt boss. and shades, that's because that's the guy that I was pointing out uh, in the memory den, in the memory lounger, every time we were there. That's him. We and we're not going to use him as a companion. He is a very cool NPC and a very good uh, companion, but if you were to use him as a companion, you figure out that he changes his appearance all the time. Like, every time you fast travel, he'll have a different look. So that's why he looks a bit different. Uh, when we saw him in the memory den. Decoding a courser chip is a very delicate operation. A million things can go wrong. The least of which is losing the data. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. Alright, so I know that this is going to lead me to a, a bunch of dialogue. So I'm going to go ahead and end this episode a tiny bit prematurely. Just because we're about to break into an entire faction in this game. And... It's going to take a while to get through all of the dialogue. So thanks for watching this episode, ladies and gentlemen. And I will see you guys in the next one where we will delve deeper into the railroad. Bye-bye.